day. We are sitting at the middle of the week, the last full week in July. If you saw the story at the top of Rents.com several hours ago, we had it up very early thanks to someone who sent it in. The man accused in last Friday's mass shooting at that Aurora movie theater, James Holmes, sent, now get this one, a notebook full of details about how he was planning to kill people to a University of Colorado psychiatrist before the attack occurred. Was it a cry for help? Was it some kind of an arrogant boast? We may never know. The notebook itself was mailed to the professor and sat unopened, unnoticed, ignored, lost, misplaced, whatever, in a mailroom for as long as a week before it was found on Monday. I don't have to tell you what might have happened had that been found. Maybe none of this horror would have occurred. We just don't know. We do know there are many, many unanswered questions about Mr. Holmes. His his family has clear, unambiguous ties to DARPA, mind control programs, mind manipulation, uh, neural issues, studying how the mind can be programmed. Part of a program to come up with a super soldier for the military, the Pentagon, among other things. This thing is is uh, obviously dripping with potential for all kinds of uh, machinations, which hopefully will come out in time. The Internet, of, of course, is abuzz with all kinds of rumors claiming this, claiming that. We don't know what to think, but we do know there is much more to be found and much more to be ascertained. To talk about uh, the whole issue of violence in society, where we're going, and quite clearly, this has been coming on for some time. We've had a number of mass shootings over the last five to ten years. It's as if the society itself has been retooled and somehow reformatted to produce psychopaths. Add to that the obvious potential of false flag operations to scare the public and, as usual, see the introduction of gun-grabbing laws. And you understand the game here. It's wide open. The sheep don't have much of a chance. So we do our best to bring the information to you. And one of the men I know very well, he is a friend of all of ours now. He has contributed mightily to helping us understand what's going on. He, of course, is Gerald Salente, the master of trends. Hello, Gerald. Welcome back. Oh, thanks for having me, Jeff. It's crazy out there. Well, you called it long ago. Well, you know, one of my sayings is when people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it. Yep. And you mentioned the word, you know, psychopaths. The fish rots from the head down. You know, what, why is this any more atrocious than starting wars against innocent people for fake reasons and killing uh, we've been, over a million of them? Well, we've been killing in Afghanistan alone for 12 years now. Yeah, uh, at least Iraq, one million, yeah. if not two. The same one to two million minimum in Iraq. We're killing people still in Libya. We're killing people in Syria as we talk. And I mean, you and I, folks, it's our tax dollars that are being used to perpetrate many of these horrors, many of them. So why should it be a surprise? It's what society has become. And, and there's no, you know, there's everywhere you look. You know, I, I just got, I stopped over to see a friend at a health food store, a good guy. You know, I really like him. And he started going off on Romney, you know. Mm-hmm. And I started pointing out things about Obama. I said, how about a terrible, a wonderful, terrible Tuesday where Obama picks out people from a list of who they should assassinate in foreign countries with, zo- with drones? Right. And of course, the first mm-hmm. reaction is, well, would you rather have Romney? I said, you're not answering my question. Now, how, ma- how many killings does it take to make a mass murderer? And the people don't want to face it. No. And and it's it's their their people are living a lie, and they just don't want to. They're they're caught up in their heads, and from the neck down is dead. There's no heart and there's no gut. And when we're looking at what's going on with this with this Batman movie, you know, I was a kid. You know, I used to watch Batman on TV. I love sure. Batman. Sure. I mean, do you remember how benign it was? I mean, you know, they were like cartoon characters. It's like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Guys, exactly. You know? yep. Yeah, nice guys. And look yeah. how dark they've made it. Uh-huh. Look how angry it is. It's evil. Look how hateful and spiteful and, and deadly it is. Is it? And look at the video games. Are you saying that just because everything is violent and to the point of, 
of violence being pornographic that it has any effect on people? There's no scientific evidence. <laughs> yeah, like there's no scientific evidence that if you dump trillions of gallons of poison into the water, it mm. doesn't poison the water. There's no scientific evidence that if you pump trillions of pounds and tons of toxins into the air that it causes any damage. There's no evidence that if you chemically fertilize the food, GMO it, and take all the life out of it, it has no effect on you. So it's the same thing. This is a poison. It's mind poison. And society has been poisoned. Sure. We're living in an age that I'm going to call the age of denial. We could go on from that, of course, but not only do people deny things, they don't actually have much of a chance anymore to even synthesize data and come up with a pragmatic, logical scenario of what they're dealing with. They don't know. They stare at the tube, and they think they're informed. They look at a half-hour newscast, 21 minutes of it maybe is, quote, news. Most of it is talking heads, carefully crafted and sculpted to meet the needs of the owners of the media outlet. And we know who they are, and we know what they're about. And so the sheep stare at this stuff, and they're being controlled and programmed in ways that that Gerald and I and many of you folks at least have a clue about. It's called electromagnetic invasion of the brain processes. They know how to pump this stuff into the mind. They can create any basic human emotion they want at any time at distance. And God knows what they're doing through direct contact, through 150 or 250 cable channels, which go on all the time. And then we've got the Internet on top of that. So good luck. Well, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, and I agree with it, but this goes way back. We're coming out with the uh, Summer Trends Journal at the end of this week. And I begin it with a story haunted by Hitler. And I may have mentioned this to you. I'm sure I did. Mm -hmm. Since I've gotten back from Berlin, I've been haunted by what I saw. And to me, Berlin was grander than Paris. You and I talked about this. You even yes. sent me photos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, how could the Germans let a two-bit freak destroy them? They'll never be the same over there. It is never the same. What took, what took centuries to build is destroyed. Right. And, and so is the spirit over there. I see it in the people. It's not the same country. And then, as I said, you know, we're, both of us, we're Italian. You know, we great heritage. I mean, not for nothing. You know, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, Puccini, Rossini, you go down the list, Caruso, mm -hmm. I mean, the Galileo, the Italians. How could they let a cartoon character like right. Mussolini destroy yeah. them? But it's before all of this. And now here we are today. Who do we have? Bush and Cheney? You want to see two ca ca cartoon characters? Yeah. Two two-bit freaks? Couldn't draw up two better ones. Couldn't. How about Obama and Romney? You want to see a freak show? So this is what is haunting me. And, and your friend in the health food store steps up and basically he almost defends Obama. One of the he, most not, heinous... Not almost. Yeah, not yeah. almost defending him. Yeah, and well, not pointing out the atrocities. There you go. Well. So it becomes this, Jeff. Why don't you believe in the freak that I believe in? How <laughs> dare you not believe in my freak? My freak's better than your freak. Exactly. <laughs> and my freak is the lesser of two evils yeah. of the freaks. Got to support him. Yep. yep. And, and so what, t what is haunting me, and that's what this Trends Journal, and great illustrations by, by Anthony Frieda, genius, the, what, what's haunting me is that what is it in the human spirit that allows people to lose their courage, their dignity, their, their respect, their integrity, and their passion, and follow freaks to their death? Because this is not an intellectual, philosophical conversation. It's a fact. You bet. All aboard, next train to Auschwitz. Absolutely. All right, you heard the new trans journal is just about out. I would urge all of you to click on Gerald's name. Go there and sign up for it. It'll be out next week. These are keepers. These are the kinds of things you want sitting on your coffee table, not just as decorations, but to read and enjoy and share. Be right back. <laughs> 